I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on statistics. We are discussing displaying data. Now, in this particular video, we will learn strategies to move from a histogram to a gyre, which is a cumulative frequency graph, and then we'll actually draw a box and whisker plot. The question for you here is: draw a cumulative frequency graph from the histogram showing the distribution of marks in a math test for 140 students. Maximum marks is 120. Find median, lower quartile, and upper quartile. Draw box and whisker plot. Now this question is extremely important from test point of view. Now let's try to understand what is cumulative frequency, right? So whenever we talk about cumulative frequency, it is actually a total frequency up to a given point, right? So let me write in short, cumulative frequency is total frequency up to a given point, correct? So this is important to keep in mind. So let's see how to draw a cumulative frequency graph from here. Well, we are not even given the complete uh, information here. We need to figure it out from the riddle, which is total number of students is 140. That means this is from 0 to 140, correct? Now, that clearly indicates we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, um, oh, sorry, a maximum marks is 120. This is marks, not this. Okay, sorry. 120 is the maximum marks, right? So, the marks are distributed and what is the interval marks interval will be we have six of these and total is 120 so 120 divided by 6 which is 20 so this is 20 40 60 80 100 and 120 clear so that is one thing so x axis is clear now on the vertical side we are giving a frequency which is total number of students 140 so let's count these uh, units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, so the frequency we are saying 14. So that means 140 should be divided by 14. We get 10. So each is 10. That becomes 20. This becomes 30, 40, and 10, 50. This is one less 10. Right, so that is how we are going to get the information, right? So here, less than 20 marks, 10 students have got. So we have to see it like this, correct? So when we are talking about a cumulative frequency, then it is, the concept here is like this. So the first group here is saying less than equal to 20 marks, right? Less than and equal to 20 marks is 10 students. Do you see that? Then the next group is less than equal to 40. So we're looking at these points. Do you see these end points? We're always looking at these points. So less than or equal to 40, correct? So that is how we view this information. And we are going to write these points now. So we'll have 40, 60, 80, 100, and 120, correct? Okay. So we have less than equal to 40, 60, 80, 100, and 120, right? So all the students were 140, all of them combined, will be less than 120, correct? You could begin from here also, correct? Either way. So, and then let's go from here. 10 plus 20 is 30, so we get here 30 students have got less than 40, add these 3, 30 plus 50 is 80, 80 plus 40 is 120, plus 10 is 130, plus 10 is 140, perfect. So we get our frequency here, right, so we get frequency here, but this is added up, so it is cumulative frequency, do you see that, less than 20 means greater than 0, less than 20, right? Less than 40. So this is actually increasing, right? And the total, 140, comes at the end. So this is the, the frequency for our intervals, correct? So when you draw 
a cumulative frequency graph, then you get these as your points on the graph, right? So, so the coordinate points will be these points, right? The corner points. So we'll have a coordinate point which will have x value of 20, y value of 10, right? So we'll have a point which will be uh, 20, 10 on the plot. This will be 40, uh, 40, 30, right? So 40, 30. This will be 60, 80. We'll make the frequency, cumulative frequency graph in the next page. Let me write down the values here. 80, 120. Then we have 100, 130, and all 140 less than 120. Is that clear to you, right? So that is what is the information. And this information should be placed on the cumulative frequency graph, right? So that is the table for us. Uh, not this one. So I think it is here, right? So here is the blank sheet where we are going to place this data. So on the cumulative frequency graph, we have the points. So on this side, we will have a running total, right, of the number of students, which is uh, the marks, right? And on that side, we will have cumulative frequency. The coordinate points which we just calculated are, let me write down the coordinate points. We have 20, 10, then we have 40, 30, right? So this is increasing by 20, and uh, well, this will increase up to 140, correct? Uh, 80, 120, 100, 130, 120, 140, correct? So these are the points. Let's plot these points now. So we have to go up to 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we could take this each as 20, right? So, so that is 20 for us. 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Correct? And we'll go up to... 140, we have how many divisions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 10 each, right? So let's mark by 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Clear? Okay, so I'll use a lighter ring to sketch the graph. So the point is 2010, so we'll start with this point, which is 2010. Then we have 40, 30, 40, 30, 60, 80, 60, and then we get 80, right? 80, 120, 80 and 120. Then we have 100, 130, so 100, 130, and 120, 140, right? So that's the graph. So we have to connect it with a smooth curve. That is it, correct? So that becomes your cumulative frequency graph. Is that clear to you? Now, we need to find the center value, right? So let's calculate all the values now. And then we will actually uh, sketch the box and whisker plot, right? So now let's find we have in all 140, correct? So uh, Q2, which is also called the median, will be at which point? Will be 50%, right? So this is 50% of 140, correct? So we can divide 140 by 2. So we get 70. So at 70, which is right here, we'll see what is this value. So it gives us a value which is 60. So 60 students, right? So that is what is the median for us. So we get this value as uh, as 60. Correct. So Q2 is 60 for us, right? So let's uh, write it down. So we have um, Q2 equals to 60. Let's highlight this. 
Now let's find the lower quartile. which is Q1. Now that is one-fourth of this, 25%, right? This is 25%, uh, so we'll divide this by 4, correct? So half of this is 35. So we're looking for a position, 35. So the number of people should be 35. So at least those many have scored how many marks? That is what we're looking into. So 35 is... Uh, uh, 20, 30, 35 is somewhere here, right? So, somewhere there. So, it seems to be slightly less than 50. So, I'll write this as uh, uh, Q1 equals to, let us say, 54. Lower quartile. Now, let's find the upper quartile. So, I hope you find it... Uh, easy to understand right which is q3 so which is 75 percent of this right so it is 140 times 3 over 4 correct so we'll multiply this by 3 so we're looking for a position times 3 is 15 1 3 4 12 135 right so okay uh, sorry 3 times 5 is 15 1 3 times 3 is 9 105 sorry so that is what we get 35 times 3 105 so for 105 let's use a different ink so this is 100 110 105 is right there in the center okay so that gives us the value which is slightly more than 70 right so we'll call this as 74 so we can say q3 it's an estimate remember that right so q3 is 74 for us correct now we can actually with all this information sketch the box and whisker plot right so that's what we are doing now so I hope the first step is clear how do we sketch the cumulative frequency graph you have to take the endpoints and then from here, how do we get our quartiles, right? So 50%, 25%, and 75% value, right? So gives you uh, quartiles. And now we can actually sketch the box and whisker plot. So let us say, uh, okay, so let's make it from here, okay. So let's say this is, uh, this is uh, we have to go up to 140, right? So, okay, so let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we'll make it 20. Okay, so we'll call this from 0 to 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Good. So uh, now Q1 is at 54, right? 54 will be somewhere here, right? So let me just draw a dotted line here. Q2 is at 60 right okay so q2 is at 60 okay and q3 is 74 for us so we are getting our box so that is the box for us perfect it goes from the minimum value of 20 to 140, correct? So, so the 20 is here, right? 20. And then it goes up to 140. So that is how we are going to sketch the box and whisker diagram. So I hope this concept is absolutely clear right so this is q1 for us we can write q1 equals to 54 median is 60 upper quartile q3 is 74 perfect so that is how we get our box and whisker plot so i hope the concept is absolutely clear feel free to write a comment share your views 
and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best